The year's 1942, and the world's gone to crap. First, you can't even get up enough cheddar to buy yourself a hamburger, and then the Japs come and attack us. What's worse is that I can't get up enough cheddar to buy myself a hamburger, let alone keep my business running. I, uh, got a little office downtown where they operate from, doing four hire detectives work, among other things. Chicago's a real hole, I'm starting to think. This is where the gangs operate out of. Not to mention that Dame's about to lose her water in can a tree catch a break in this town? I'm telling you, I can make rent. That's what you said last month. And I made it. Yeah, $20 short you did. And I said that I'd make it up this month. Besides, I had to use it to pay for my office. You call that broom closet an office? Why, I listen. If you don't got the money by the end of the day, you're out. But Butts are for pooping. Back in my day, you would be kissing my shoe for a deal like that. Now, scram. Please, I can get the money. And I know that. All I'm saying is if we don't get the dough, we can't guarantee your safety. But doesn't all those years of you help me stay afloat mean anything? No, I wasn't helping you, you see. I was helping me. You're an investment. And when an investment stops paying off, you've got to cut it off. Capiche? All I've been doing is paying your slick hand. I'm not going to cut anytime soon. And I know that. But bootlegging don't pay as good as it used to now the booze is okay with the cops. See, the price of meat has just gone up. If my little investments don't stop paying off as good as they should, I'll show them what happens when they don't. I'm Mr. Panazoli, I will have the money um, next time you're here. Good. I'm glad that we can continue business together. Have a good day, Miss Oakland. Geez, what a way to start the day. Where on earth am I going to get that extra cash? It's not even noon yet, and I need something to drink. Maybe that could help pay for it. Drat! Who's that slice that just strutted out of here? That was Panasoli, head of the Royal Race Gang. How's about yourself? I'm Thomas Jones, private investigations, odd jobs, and plumbing. And it'd be better if I could get a drink. We got those here, right? Not for long if I can't come up with some grease for that cheese bag. You're gonna need to find yourself a new dive before long. Thank you, Emmett. I just found this one. Well, uh, did you hear the part about private investigations and odd jobs? Didn't you hear the part that I'm about broke? If I'm cheap, I might just scrape together enough cheddar to fill that fondue fountain. Now's not the time to start a charity foundation. No, that's what I'm saying. I could go and take care of that pepperoni problem. You could keep safe, and maybe as payment you could give me what you'd give in that orangutan. You stepping in what I'm laying down? I should hope not. What good is breaking my ties with Panazoli if it means just another jazzy deal with you, Tommy? Oh, come on. I don't mean it like that. Just a one-time deal. To help me get back on my feet. Who is stood stoutly on their feet these days? Oh, well, it's not like I'm going to get the cash together anyway. You seem like a reasonable hunk of baloney. Then that cat's own cat. Tell you what. You get that pen is only off my back, and I'll find a way to scratch yours, okay? Wow, it's great. You know, I haven't been having... Actually, that pen is only. Where can I find him? That guy you passed on the way in? That's him. I'm on it. If I'm fast, I might be able to tail him. I'll be like jam on a roast.
<sighs> What's so funny? I just want to ask a couple questions. Maybe get a little dirty. You're not here, are you? Ain't anyone here? Never did get that drink. Might as well do so now. Marge, is that you? She ain't here. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Detective Jones. I work for Miss Marge. You a detective? i never seen you on the force. Private detective. Anyway, she's got some grisly business going on. If I'm doing my job, then I should be asking what you're doing here. I don't have to say squat. Besides, she probably went on a lunch break. And who goes on a lunch break at 2 in the afternoon? Uh, me? I do. Yeah, I'm on a lunch break right now. Sure you yeah. are. What are you up to? Are you implying that I, officer of the law, would do something illegal? I was just helping some delivery man with a shipment. Right now, I'm gonna scoop. Place is dead. That lot of help he was. I think he might even be involved in this mess. Now what? She's not gonna pay up. I'm taking her out to the woods at her usual spot. Meet me there as soon as you can. The tree might get wind of this. Stinky. I said my name so the people watching the movie will know I am. What movie? For that matter, what woods? The closest area zone for body dumping is that overgrown pecan grove. But no one ever finds any stiffs there. The handful that do turn up are usually a couple miles down river from here. Uh, river. In the river down by that grove? Hey, it's worth a shot. Smelly, hold it tight. Don't let it get away. I'm trying. It's stinky, not smelly. Huh, guess I couldn't wait half a minute of screen time for that. You're always honest needing to do something nefarious to create a conflict for the hero to fight against. This ain't a flick, stinky. We just bootleggers. You want to use your cut of the dough to make some tuna-headed film? Go right ahead. Yeah, I know. Film crews are sweaty anyway. So what are we going to do with the girl? Hey, you're the one that asked me to come out here. You tell me. Uh, throw in the lake by Pecan Grove? Yeah, that's right. That'll make a nice place once it thaws out. We'll keep her here in the meantime. You just might make it out of this internship with all your fingers still attached. Ah, uh, why aren't they here? Maybe they're in that warehouse Panazoli tried to get in. You think those weren't industrial accidents? Well, it wasn't me who... Shut up. Listen. For what? For me. Garzone, I forgot to burn the evidence. Stinky, do what you did last time. W what you got there, friend? It's just a little insurance to make sure that you comply with me asking you to release that chick, pal. All right, wise guy, let's see you beat these rates. Scram, or I'll personally see to it that both of you are next seen halfway down to New Orleans. Hmm? Tom, you look crazy. What's going on? <laughs> Do you need to ask, what's changed with you? After I walked out of the bar, I went down to 34th and Vine, and I saw this gal.
I was hitting on her. When she did not return the favor, I hit on her. Well, it turns out she's a witch or something. Curse me of a conscience. These new age healers keep on getting nuttier and nuttier. Ideas of what a curse is supposed to be. You can extrapolate the rest. You've been hanging out with those beatniks? Yeah, why? Oh! Scat! Tommy, thanks for saving me back there. I don't know what I would have done without you. You'd be riding at the bottom of a riverbed instead of sitting warm with me. What are we gonna do now? The cop's out cold. The bullet just grazed him. I'll swing by the station and drop these goofs off. Then we can stop by my place for some coffee. And rent money. But I got the money! And it's too late. I told you by the end of the day. It's the end of the day. I got a family of Orientals. Let's move them by next Thursday. Can't you do anything about this jerk? I tried. How do you think I kept this place this long? Get your stuff together. You're staying at my place. We can have some coffee and listen to the radio all night long. That sounds nice.